All right, Coach. Well, it's been a while since we've got to do this, but congratulations on a road victory. Well, thank you. It was, it was a lot of fun for, I think, everybody, and uh, very proud of the effort, obviously, and, and uh, the bottom line is to come away with a win, and, and uh, we did it in a good fashion. Maybe the first time since you've been here that all phases of your you know, offense, defense, special teams, you, you've really put it together and displayed it in the same game? Yeah, if you look all three... It, all three parts, you know, um, there's been games we've put offense together and special teams or defense and special games, but to do all three finally uh, was, was, was good and uh, shows you we've been playing well in parts. We just haven't been able to put things together and there was one we put them all together and, and uh, we came in with a very solid win. Talk about the environment because this is, this is a place you're very familiar with. Last time we were there, much different outcome, but you'd played there as a coach of Eastern and you know the difficulty in going in there and getting a win. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a tough place. One, it's a very loud place. We, I felt we took the crowd out of it right away, and um, that we never let them in it, and I think that was so critical to that and to help our own team out and, and uh, to respond in a place where, one, they hadn't lost this year. They are 4-0 at home, and, and um, we went in there, and I really felt we controlled the football game from start to finish, and, and uh, when you do that, you, you can dictate the outcome, and and we were able to do that with our performance and keeping the crowd out of the ball game. Tough to single out yeah. um, individual performances. So many players had positive impacts on this game, but we'll pick a few, just starting with the offense. Jeff Toole, best game in a Cougar uniform? Well, I, you know, he did some great things. If you want to look at him from a, from a running and passing uh, standpoint, I think he had five incompletions, and if you look at him, uh, three of the five were, were really accurate balls that for some reason didn't convert. But um, he, he was outstanding. Just his decision-making, taking care of the football and, and uh, managing the clock. Uh, I thought he did a lot of things today that he hadn't done before. Uh, he handles them very well, very mature. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's just going to keep growing, and he needs to. But uh, that, was a, that was a great step for him to go on the road, win a ball game. Also got some, some good contribution out of a, a trio of running backs in Chance Staden, James Montgomery, and Laguan Mitts. Well, they ran hard, and uh, the offensive line did some good things. You know, they opened up some nice holes in there, and, and uh, those guys ran hard, and, and I think that was the bottom line. And, and uh, I don't know that Oregon State could really get a beat on what we were doing run-wise, uh, and I thought that was really an advantage to us. Turning our attention to the other side of the ball defensively, it just seemed like the defensive line had their way with the Beaver front five. Mm -hmm. um, they were in the backfield more than <laughs> mm -hmm. we've been in, in many a game. Yeah, we, we did, a, we did a, a fine job. I mean, we, we put a lot of pressure on our quarterback, disrupted his any type of rhythm that he wanted to have. And more importantly, we're in the backfield creating uh, the Rodgers kid to really have to, you know, alternate his path in the running game you know so we really had to make him move laterally at times and allowed us to swarm to him and to get him down and and uh, he spit out a couple t times on some big runs but uh, outside of that we bottled him up pretty good one of those defensive linemen Casey Hamlet um, didn't start the game but but came in and played a bit and just you know, obviously his best game in a Cougar uniform. He was playing hard and he was playing fast, and, and uh, he did some great things. It was just fun to see because he's a great kid. He works extremely hard, and, and uh, I think he was a man on a mission. And, and uh, uh, he came out and was very physical and played smart football, was where he needed to be a lot of times on a bootleg for one of his sacks and um, overpowered some people at a couple times. And uh, he did a great job. I was very happy for him. What's it, what's it show you the last two weeks where you've held a very good California team to 20 points? You've held a very explosive Oregon State team to 14 points. You know, both of them well below their season average in, in yards per game. Mm -hmm. what, what's that show you with your young defense? Well, I, I, what I see is them just getting a little bit more comfortable playing the game. They're gaining more experience. They're getting more confident. Uh, I've seen our defensive line make more plays the last two weeks, you know. Uh, that's been a great thing to see. I think Anthony Lorenzi is somebody that keeps uh, improving a young defensive tackle. He's a sophomore. Uh, uh, very happy to see him along with Travis Long uh, do some really good things in there. Um, he, he's really added a lot. And then Brandon Rankin seemed to have had a better game this week as well. And Bernard Wolfgram's playing better. So those guys in the front 
um, have, have, have gotten better and they're making more plays and, and then the linebackers are getting more and more comfortable. One, one person who um, received a national honor last week, kind of aside from the Oregon State game, Reed Forrest was named one of the 10 semifinalists for the Ray Guy Award, signi signifying the top punter in the nation. What has he meant to your squad this year? Well, more than this year, but just the last two and a half, just his leadership uh, in the locker room and, and off the field. He's, he's very consistent, and uh, he's a team guy, and uh, he, he's very respected. And, and um, you know, the things he does on the football field, he just always keeps us and gives us hope that we can have good field position and, uh, and for our defense. You know, even if we're backed up, he can get that ball way back down there and force the opposing team's offense to have to go a longer, long field. So uh, he means a lot. He's been uh, so valuable in so many ways. Now, we, we haven't said that this, this year, but ready for a bye week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been ready for one for quite a while. And, uh, uh, you know, we've got our work cut out for us. And I, what I mean by that is we've got to learn how to practice with this two-week layover. This has never happened for us. What our, our young players have to understand is here's, here's what a bowl game is going to feel like. You're going to have some time off, and we've got to learn how to come back and practice. And, and, and try not to miss a beat. And, and that's going to be a challenge. That's a new thing to do. But this is a great dry run um, for us. And, and uh, we're going to have to learn to come out and play well and be sharp right out, out of the get-go in, in our next home game. What, what is your plan for the next two weeks? There's a holiday break involved with no school. Mm -hmm. And you have you know, this week without a game. What, what's the plan for the team? Well, we, what we want to do is we need to get some we need to get some time off. Number one, these players need some time off from practice, so we're going to give them the next four days off with no practice and a couple lifts, but just no practice and stay away from football. And then we'll come back practice four days in a row, uh, and then we'll take again we'll take four days off, uh, five days off, and come back and and practice a full week before we head into the the Apple Cup. So um, some chunks of time off to just to regroup mentally and physically, and and uh, yet hopefully the times that we do practice we we're intense enough, and and uh, we get after it to where we gotta, you know, really be ready for that game. Well, coach, next time we speak, it'll be following the Apple Cup, so let's hope it's two in a row for us. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you.